All right, here we go, folks. We got ourselves another fresh series coming at you, spawning up at the top left for Psy Storm Gaming. It is Max Pax in the red. And his opponent spawning down to the bottom right for Team Navi. It is Spirit in the blue. Spirit having himself, I'm sure he would say for, for what he wanted, a disappointing IEM Katowice, but... He is still an extremely good player, still a top three Terran in Europe. Uh, by the way, I think the fourth best Terran in Europe is actually Raynor's off race. I'm trying to think of who you would put above Raynor's off race Terran. And the only players that come to mind are. I mean, funnily enough, his brother, Baby Marine, his younger brother, Baby Marine. Uh, Battle B? I don't. Milky Cow, maybe? I don't think there are any other European Terrans that are... Uh, I mean, Nikorak is quite good, but yeah, I, I, I think Raynor would be higher level. Now, Max Pax. Max Pax is just a true force. He is a true force to be reckoned with. And honestly, could become the great Protoss hope. We will see. We will see. But of course, he will have to attend some offline tournaments for that to be the case. Uh, Spirit with a little bit of juke on his opponent's adept and will get into the main base. Scouts the Twilight Council. Should be able to kill a probe here. Oh, and actually could get a second probe. This is a great start for Spirit so far. I think we are going to see the adept getting the shape. Well, actually, no. The Reaper is going to slip out. He can actually go back into the main base right now. Oh, okay. Decides not to. I actually think, weirdly, it would have been safer if he had. Instead, I think he will get chased down now. Yeah. Yeah, it actually would have been safer um, because the adept shaded away. will get picked off here, I believe. Oh, wow. He actually got away into the corner and retreated one hit from the Hellion or a Marine or even an SCV. Would have killed that off, but he keeps it alive. Damn. Nice job for Max Pax. I really thought that was going to die, but uh, the fact that he keeps it alive means it starts regenerating shields. And it really didn't look like there was enough space for him to get into a corner there, but good job for Max Pax. Squeezing just that little bit of extra out of his units here. Oop, but here comes the Cyclone, and that will be a dead Adept. But however, he is able to get a kill on one of those Hellions. Cyclone gets the double kill, but at least, at least Max Pax gets something out of it. Still? Yeah, I think I favor this position for Spirit just a little bit. Max Pax is going to be going for three gate blink. He has been doing this as his go-to in the matchup these days. For a long time, it was four gate blink, always. But three gate blink is a little bit better, I think, on this map pool because it still allows you to put on pressure if your opponent makes a mistake, but it's not as committed as a four gate blink, much less so. We do have a Cyclone four Marine drop, which is a pretty interesting setup. We are going to see just a four Stalker hit squad on the other side of the map. Nice little snipe on one of these bunkers. Spirit hunkering down pretty hard for what is just a very light pressure. Well, not very light pressure, but a relatively undedicated pressure. And he's actually not even going to be able to prevent the damage from still coming through. So really quite a problem. We do have this drop on the other side of the map, though. That's going to find some potentially big value. Already getting four probes. Max Pax. Ooh, does need to blink away to break that lock on, but he will actually lose the Stalker. He was, yeah, wanting to uh, to pounce on this. Obviously, this counterattack on the other side of the map. There is no Siege Tank in position here, so a lot more SCVs are continuing to fall. Ten SCVs going down. 
Maxpack's gonna find the engineering bay as well. Siege tank barely sieging up in time to get the kill on that stalker, but that is a nice kill. How many stalkers actually went down? Just three in total so far. However, this medevac drop is kind of corralled into the corner. The engineering bay going down means that there's no plus one and there won't be for a very long time. Max Pax can start up charge very soon. He is still on 48 probes, which is not amazing, but he's not bad. Oh, as I say that, what was that? Was that the, was that the Reaper? I think it was. Wow, the Reaper got back into the natural apparently and got two more probe kills. Huh. That is pretty nice. Spirit will still have a push out timing with Stim that is somewhat scary for Max Packs to deal with. How many siege tanks do we have? Three siege tanks. Max Packs warping in more stalkers. We'll be able to kite this army actually pretty effectively, especially with no combat shields. And great blink micro right there from Max Packs, able to snipe down a few Marines. That medevac drop in the back. It will survive the first two volleys of these three stalkers. I wouldn't mind if Max Pax put a fourth stalker in that position just to try and keep that alive. Max Pax is going to get into the main base once again. We'll find another three SCVs and blinking out before he loses any of those stalkers. Blink plus pickup. Very nice stuff from Max Pax. There is a third command center on the way here for Spirit. But yeah, the lack of upgrades for Spirit is actually kind of a big deal. Yeah, once again, it's uh, 116 HP. Takes nine stalker shots to kill a medevac, and that uh, medevac has taken two. So with four stalkers here, you would two shot the medevac if you got all the shots off. But with three, it is much more likely to either A, escape, or B, be able to unload some of its units. Now, Max Pax will see the timing of the third command center landing. And he's actually going to recall the warp prism. Snipe on one of those Marines. Sees the tank sieging on up. Uh, but that will tip Spirit off to the fact that there was an Observer over top of his army. How many Observers do we have behind this? Just one more. Oh, Spirit checking, seeing, hey, do you have the Stalkers in position? The answer is yes. Behind this, the Robotics Bay is just about to complete. And that will allow for the Colossus to start up here. Spirit does have a very large army. Max Pax is up to eight gates. He's made a lot of stalkers in this game. 15 stalkers is a pretty high count. Oh, Zealots. Hey, very nice from Max Pax. The War Prism bearing these units out. That's actually a pretty big stim. Oh, huge drop coming back into the natural. Kind of abandoning the rest of the army a little bit. Max Pax, though, does need to disengage as quickly as possible. Spirit's going to be able to pick off a lot of units. And that is actually a very big pickoff for Spirit. Max Pax does have his first Colossus popping right now. Second one ready to go as well. Start it up. So important. One of the more difficult macro things for Protoss is during all of this chaos, during all of what you're doing, is to make sure that you're never supply blocked and that you always have just enough money to start your Colossus. When you're... Uh, when your one finishes up. Because losing out on robo time can be a really devastating thing. We do, by the way, not have a missile turret at the third. So if a DT slips in here, could be big problems for Spirit. First three ghosts are out for the Navi Terran. Axe though, is on four bases. He actually... Oh, five pro... Wait, where did five probes just die? Was it a mind drop? What was it? Where did five probes just die? I don't even know. DT drop will get into the natural. And there is plus one, so... Actually, it doesn't make a difference because there's no plus one armor yet for Spirit. War Prism will recall out and will get out successfully. A lot of mines and ghosts in the main base there. How many Vikings do we have? We got four on the field with one more in production. Spirit uh, powering pretty hard into the mid game. But two more Robos coming in for Max Pax. Could set him up for a big disruptor transition. Of course, will allow him to rebuild Colossus very quickly if he should lose them. And 
For now, he's got extended thermal lands done, and his third Colossus just popped out. So he is going to be able to be competitive against this army, but this is a big army from Spirit as well. Widowmine's a little bit far forward. Big stim coming in from Spirit. He is going to try and pick a fight here. Battery Overcharge, though, will keep that one Colossus alive. Ooh, Maxpex really trying to bait those Widowmines out, but it ends up being a big bloody nose for him. Now, on the other side, we do see Zealous counterattacking into the natural and the fourth. Planetary wasn't done yet, so Maxpex getting in at a very fragile time for Spirit on that fourth mineral line. 14 SCVs going down rather quickly. It's going to be a rotation from Spirit, but the Zealot kind of does see it. Drop the shot on the left side. We'll get a Widow Mine at the least. And another one pops out. Also able to fire a shot and actually got four kills. Okay. Underneath the Medivax. Able to get the kills. Meanwhile, Widow Mine's on the right side getting cleaned up as well. Good job with the Colossus staying at range. Ooh, these Disruptors about to be back off cooldown, but not quite yet. Still, they zone Spirit out. Spirit losing a lot of stuff on the other side of the map. 26 SCVs going down in total. And there is a War Prism running amok. Oh, looks like that medevac from earlier was F2'd back and will get taken down. Spirit getting uh, out multitasked in this mid game here by the Ferocious Max Pack. We are going to see the final Colossus getting taken down. Disruptor shot zoning out the army. The Vikings landed and will all die. Widowmine finally getting cleaned up here. We're going to see the fifth Nexus getting taken down, though, by Spirit. Maxpack was not in position. That is going to be a kill on that Nexus, but it is going to be a lot of units going down for it, potentially. Maxpack actually could have found a couple of, well, one Ghost and a couple of other, I guess, valuable units. Actually, he still will find those. Spirit retreated them out, but didn't pull them all the way back. This game is quite even right now, I would say. Disruptor shots being avoided here by the speedy army of spirit. EMPs on the zealots. Ah, it's helpful. And some good kiting from spirit. Gets a couple of pickoffs. Pylon actually kind of holding the army in place. Leads to the death of a ghost. A couple other units. Nice force field kind of breaking up the retreat as well. And these disruptor shots are like sneaking out from under the medevacs getting a lot more picks than I expected them to. Meanwhile, that double drop that loaded up in the natural will be able to find some good value here. Battery Overcharge is going to help Max Pack hold this a lot better than it could have been. Still, Spirit with some good target fire on the probes with the Marauders at the end. I do think that this game is quite even right now, especially you look at the upgrade timings. They're almost identical in a couple of ways. This drop in the main base will get cleaned up. Good target fire on that medevac. But meanwhile, there's a big a fight at the bottom side. Spirit avoiding the disruptor shots quite well. His army does feel like it could get potentially pounced on, though. And he does not want to lose all these medevacs. He will try and retreat out. Does manage to do so. Max Pack's well set up in the natural. Six DTs just warped on in, and they do have blink. Where are they right now? Okay. They are moving through the middle. Plus three weapons will complete here for Maximus Maximus. Oh, and look at that. Zealot going to keep this pylon alive. No, good job from Spirit getting the uh, micro. Targets that down. He will lose this Marauder. Oh my god, that Zealot being blocked by his brother actually expends the charge. But it ends up going down anyways. Runs out of stim and runs out of options. Where are the Blink DTs? Ooh, they're circling around to the bottom side. Missile turret is going to go down. Scan will come on on top of this, but the bunker does die, and the Marines... Oh, one of them will survive. However, DT's into the natural. They're going to deny that fusion core. Drop on the left side is going to come on in. Spirit setting up for another attack on the top towards that 12 o'clock base, and he actually saves a lot of his army. Great maneuvering from Spirit, but Max Pax finding 13 SCVs on the other side of the map. However... Max Pack's going to lose potentially this very important 12 o'clock base. And so many probes. Spirit finding Max Pack's out of position. Punishing super hard. Spirit is playing very well right now. Max Pax, I didn't realize he saved these DTs. That is very cute. Spirit definitely taking a little bit of a lead here, but the game is not over by any stretch just yet. Both players on 3-2 upgrades. These Blink DTs are scary to deal with. 
Max Max needs to either A, find a good fight though, or B, knock out a base of Spirit pretty soon. He does snipe a medevac, but it's going to come at a heavy cost, losing three of these stalkers. Max Max blinking forward, will be able to find actually the whole army. And that is because of this army in the middle from Max Pax. Skin comes down, spots the Observer, sees the, re the layout of Max Pax's army, but still not bad for Max Pax there, Spirit. Oh, DT at the third. There's actually no scans, it looks like. Oh, this drop on the top side. This is pure chaos here on Oceanborn. A great game so far. A lot of cat and mouse in this one. Max Pax going to blink his Stalkers back up to the high ground. Will uh, target down these Metabacks and should be able to get the full kill. Actually, Spirit pulling that one back and kind of baits the Stalkers forward. Meanwhile, though, Max Pax kills that base on the top right side. They've now both caught each other out of position at once. But this army is almost pure blink. Stalker cannot stand up to what Spirit has. He needs to get the hell out of Dodge. But Spirit not trapping this army and Max Pax will be able to just walk around the long way. However, his army is much weaker in a straight-up fight than Spirit's right now. Actually, what's the Viking count out? Good scan from Spirit. It's at zero. So he starts up those two Vikings. Very important to get back up to those. Ooh, that pull away. God, there is so much happening. The fact that he spotted that is huge. Buddha Mines, a couple of them will get taken down before they can burrow. Disruptor Shot will get uh, gunned down. No chance for it to go off there. Are there any more disruptors on the field? There's one more Ruptor. Stim does expire, so Spirit actually... This is a hard fight to read. I think Spirit just needs to retreat. Max Pax blinking these stalkers very nicely to avoid the damage. There is a Widowmine underneath this army of Max Pax. It could get a huge shot. Oh, it actually was kind of underwhelming. Disruptor shot will chase this army back. Max Pax able to snipe one of the Vikings, but another one does survive. Observer will show up here and will detect this Widowmine. Oh man, this is actually such a close game. Even now, the supplies are dead even. But Max Pax has the initiative. Spirit on a very low Viking count. And I love that Max Pax has gone up to a third and fourth Colossus in the production tab. This, by the way, is the lifted main command center. Disruptor shot shooting around the corner. Not the most effective, but it still gets a couple of units and forces the rest of the army back. Oh, Observer 1 gets sniped. Observer 2 escapes out. There is a lot of Marines here. Colossus is going to be very good against this. Spirit should not have chased up that ramp. I think he underestimated how effective those Colossus were going to be against, against so much of his army. Max Pax was able to target fire a little bit of the Marines in the middle. Zealot, by the way, has killed off a missile turret, which means that DTs in the natural will be once again a huge problem to deal with. And I think Max Pax is starting to make better plays in this mid game. Or well, actually, I guess it's it's really just an extended mid game because they're both on mid game tech. Neither one of them has added the the big next day stage units. But Max Pax prefers to stay on ground units anyways. So I guess you could argue that for him, it's the late game. He's got Blink TTs and all that. But no, like, uh, Tempests or anything like that. No Liberators for Spirit. And there are those DTs coming in on top of the third and the natural. Not much mining. In fact, there's no minerals here. So DTs will get taken down around the third and the natural expansion. But Zealots get into the fourth, fifth. I don't even know what to call it. Technically, it's even the sixth. Of course, he lost that fifth base a long time ago. Great spotter zealot for Max Pax, seeing what's going on. Spirit's army is huge. That is something that cannot be denied, and there's not a whole lot of disruptors on the field. Only two at the moment. Max Pax still needs to be very careful. Spirit is building nothing but units. No rebuild on the SCVs. Spirit's army value and army supply are much higher right now, but as long as Max Pax doesn't take a bad fight and he's able to disengage successfully, should be okay for him. Big disruptor shot on the Marauders. Oh, he's got to get out of here, though. Spirit has a pretty big concave. Zealot reinforcement, though, is going to be good at driving this army back. And that was a good skirmish, I think, for Max Pax. 
especially with more and more damage coming in on the other side of the map. Only a couple of unit kills. Oh, nice interception on this one Zealot. Max Max, though, the longer this goes, the more and more he pulls ahead in terms of income and resources mined. Now this base, ooh, that could be a couple of dead probes and it will be a dead Nexus. Spirit, I was going to say recognizing wisely that he can turn around and fight, but Max Pax will zone his opponent's army out with the Disruptor. Good job. However, on the top side, big EMP on these DTs. Battery Overcharge is going to come on in. I think he just recalled like three Zealous. That's not enough. And this is actually a golden opportunity for Spirit to take some good trades. Will be able to kill off a lot of these Zealots here. There is an upgrade lead for Max Pax. It's 3 3 versus 3 2. And now with the Colossus rotating over, that should be a, a big opportunity for Max Pax to chase down multiple medevacs. And a lot of these ghosts. But they are going to retreat on out. And Max Pax. Oh, Probe's actually kind of body blocking this army incidentally. A couple of big disruptor shots going to buy a lot of time. Max Pax will. Try and keep this Nexus alive, but 40 probes have actually gone down in a very brief period of time. All of a sudden, it is Spirit who is really cooking here, but the Colossus are going to rain laser beams on this army. Spirit needed to lift up and get out a little bit earlier. Max Pax able to get some really nice picks. Ooh, Spirit wants to knock out this last base. He is going to tunnel vision it and will get the kill. Nice hot pick up there. Getting out with everything. SCV's going down on the other side of the map. Both players are really on a shoestring budget, but it is going to be Spirit, who is definitely now ahead in income, as Max Max has no mining bases. He is long distance mining one base, and he is going to have to basically go all in. But can he win with this? Re Colossus is going to be very good. Disruptor shot. Who does get dodged? Flanking reinforcements coming in from Spirit. Max Max has no front line and Spirit will overwhelm it in game number one. A magnificent game from both players. Spirit gets the job done. All right, here we go. Game number two. Spawning up at the top right for Psy Storm Gaming. It is Max Max in the red. And his opponent with some great multitasking at the end there for Team Navi. It is Spirit. In the blue. That was a fantastic game. Fantastic game. Spirit really turned on the Jets there in the later stages. It is so difficult to make Max Packs look like he is getting out multitask to out multitask max, max packs but that is what we saw right there spirit really going toe to toe with such a fast player is so impressive forty probes going going down in a, the blink of an eye right there Spirit really opened things up. Now, it is difficult to defend against those kind of drops, those kind of multi-prong attacks when you start losing units because you need... The Protoss army works on synergy a lot of the time, whereas a Terran army is very good and it's kind of a flat power spike, a, a flat power line. Like, you know, if you have... 10 Marines, 10 Marauders, and 4 Medivacs versus 5 Marines, 5 Marauders, and 2 Medivacs. One army is a, a basically twice as strong as the other, pretty much exactly. Whereas for Protoss, you know, if you have uh, one Colossus, 5 Stalkers, and 5 Zealots, that army is much less powerful than 2 Colossus, 10 Zealots, 10 Stalkers, just because the Colossus stay alive much more effectively, get their DPS for a much longer period of time. So splitting your army becomes very complicated for Protoss in the later stages, but Spirit did a great job of exploiting that. Really, really handled Max Pax in that game number one. And Max Pax was playing very well there. Honestly, even in the early game, Spirit did very well. Much better than I'm used to seeing against a player like Max Pax. Oh, Def does cancel its shade, but even now... It is so difficult to not lose anything to Spirit's first 
adept or to max max's first adept already a good start for spirit here Ooh, shade forward does grab that first scv forces the reaper away as well and wow this is this is already more of kind of what i was expecting a little bit here but spirit gets the full cleanup and it only ends up being one marine one scv for two adepts yes it's a little bit of lost mining time and one of them was a mule lost a lot of mining time there so what was that two maybe three mineral trips if it's two trips it's 50 minerals down the drain if it's three it's 75. I still think that was decent for Max Pax, but look at this. Max Pax going back to that four gate link. We uh we hadn't seen him do that very often. We haven't seen him do that very often on this current patch, but I like that he's trying it out. Now I wonder if it's coming from a position of frustration, though. I hope it's coming from a okay, I feel like I can get more done. Not a oh man, I lost in the late game. Or, oh, I lost from a pretty good position. Keeping, uh, keeping a cool head is not easy. It is going to be the same drop, by the way, from Spirit as in game number one, which did get a fair bit of damage done, but didn't win him the game by any means. Kept him in it when uh, Backpack found his damage with his own opener. Link does get revealed, by the way. Two stalkers in the main base. I think Max Pax is anticipating a double mind drop. I don't think he's anticipating this, but he did warp in a third stalker. Three stalkers is pretty good against double mind, but I think if this gets unloaded, it's not super easy. Now we are seeing a second bunker coming on in. Where are the siege tanks? There's only one. That seems to be the big weakness of this build. Well, I say there's only one. There's only one about to pop out. That's literally the first tank. And the... Oh, the body block. The body block to prevent the repair, but the mineral walk. Can he keep it alive? No, not quite. That was still so sick from Spirit. The... Did the drop in the main base go in? It did, and it got killed. Oh, boy. Spirit. Spirit's dead. Right? I think Max Max is just going to warp in Stalkers and kill that tank. He's waiting for the warp in, and then he's going to blink forward. There it is. Instantly going to take it out. Doesn't even get the shot, and that's GG. Let's see if we can see what happened to that drop in the main base. Did Spirit just try and boost it in? He did, and Max Pax killed it. Yeah, GG. All right, here we go. Game number three. Spawning down on the bottom right for Storm Gaming. It is Max Pax in the red. And his opponent spawning up the top left for Team Navi. It is Spirit. In the blue. Max Pax doing a cute little thing that he personally likes to do, which is chrono boosting just before his pylon finishes. In order to get the probe production pumping as quickly as possible. By the way, thank you very much, Cosmatic, for an additional 25 biddies. What happened? Uh, Max Pax went for a four gate blink. Spirit had gone for a build that had a very late uh, siege tank. And that build did not yield the results Spirit needed it to. And Max Pax just killed him. And there was a very cool body block with a blink forward in on top of a bunker where he body blocked the SCVs. And then Spirit actually did mineral walk through to let his SCVs get on top of it. But it was a little bit too little too late. Still, good play and counterplay. But Max Pax, outstanding move. Really good stuff. And of course, he used the War Prism to cover the blink. Oh, Marine pops out. I will be a dead pro, but he delayed that, <laughs> delayed that command center for like nine, ten seconds. It is a long delay. I would say that is worth losing the probe for. Especially if you're a player like Max Pax who loves to get across the map. For one, he knows his opponent went Marine. Which means he knows he can move across the map and be a nuisance. Uh, two, yeah, the fact that he delays that command center for 10 seconds and got a zap on the SCV increases the potential that he's going to be able to find damage with this first couple of uh, gateway units and specifically even just the first Adept. And maybe delay this command center for a hell of a lot longer. 
Uh, this bunker feels late for Spirit. It will be ready for the second gateway unit, but the first one, not so much. Now, there are going to be, of course, two uh, more Marines popping out, and three Marines does technically beat an Adept, but the Adept can outmaneuver you. Max packs. Oh, he's actually not going to shade forward here. Okay. I was wondering if he might have just gone for a snipe on the SCV at the natural, but... No, it doesn't look like he wanted to do so. Oh, at first that was like perfectly uh, micro depot. Perfect uh, depot micro. Good job, by the way, from Spirit on the pullback. Keeps those Marines alive. A little bit of a dance between these two players. I wonder if Max Max is going to try and go for another four gate blink here. It is one of his trademark builds, which is to say he does it better than just about any other Protoss in the business. Oh no, Spirit forgot to build a Medivac. Oi, 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 and now he's supply blocked. Ah, he will be unsupply blocked in a moment, so that is going to start up, but this Widowmine drop wanted to be moving out quite a bit earlier. Max packs. He should have Blink done now before that Medivac drop can actually be getting into his main. And otherwise, I think it should have been there beforehand. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. We are going to see... Oh, wow, the Adept somehow... Wait, what? Huh? Where'd the... Hello? What? Oh, wow. Wow, it actually got in and somehow got out. I, I legitimately don't even understand. And it survives to spot the medevac. Oh, that's actually very big. Max Max is going to move to intercept. Oh, my goodness. That adept... Usually stuff like that doesn't matter too much. But that could end up having a drastic implication on this game. Oh, Spirit gonna try and cut around. Ooh, I think Spirit actually spotted the Stalkers. Max Packs, oh, gonna cut this off with the Observer. Oh, he does spot it with one of these Stalkers. He's going to go for the aggressive blink forward. Will grab both of these mines and the medevac, of course. They do un or, uh, they do drop out. But with the observer right here, these are dead mines. Excellent pickoff from Max Pax. And that adept keeping that alive, which I kind of wrote off as dead, goes to show how little micro plays can have a much bigger impact at this level of play than people ever think they're going to. Uh, this was 4-gate blink, but he took a super fast third next, so he really didn't put any pressure on with it. Or maybe he just actually wasn't paying attention. I was paying attention to the other things besides the actual minutia of the build order, like order of operations, but I think he might have gone 4-gate blink and just not done anything with it. Which is uh, very rare for Max Pax to do if that's the case. Oh, cute blink forward. We'll grab a Marine that was on the edge. Obviously, it reveals that there's an Observer, but your opponent's probably expecting that anyways. We do have four more gateways coming online, as well as charge and plus one for Max Pax. Max Pax's charge is, or, uh, plus one is actually faster than that of Spirits. So similar to game one in that regard, where they were very similarly timed, but it's usually an upgrade timing lead. This is just actually a really fast plus one weapons. That's like seven minutes going to come online. It's really fast for the Protoss. Spirit is going for a huge five racks. Big attack off two bases. Scan will find that Observer. We are going to have at least one Colossus out by the time this attack hits. Oh, Max Pack's going to be able to snipe down a tank and actually getting quite a few SCVs in the main base during all that. Nine SCVs go down and a tank snipe. That is fantastic for Max Pax. And Max Pax is already up 25 workers now against a very dedicated uh, attack coming across the map. He's doing the right things as well, kiting against his army and whittling it down. And
and he is going to be cleaning up a lot of reinforcements on the other side of the map, as well as SCVs. He just sniped down. No, he sniped down a couple more bio units. First Colossus is out. SCV pull coming on in. Oh, Max Max got to be careful though. these units. He does not want to lose these now. The Zealot to get in on top of the army. And SCVs are going to surround everything. Max Max keeps the very valuable Colossus alive. But this might be an opportunity for Spirit where it really didn't look like he had any. However, this is still a situation where I think... Oh, that's so smart. We fall into War Prism. Zealots will clean up the rest of the SCVs. More Zealots getting on top of the Siege Tanks. Dodging the tank shots with the War Prism. And that is going to be a complete clean up on this army. Max Pax crushing spirit there. And will take the game and the series. Very well done by Maximus Paximus. God, he's good. Spirit crumbling a little bit under the War Prism harass. But that is just because Max Pax puts so much pressure on you. If you enjoyed that one, make sure to hit that like and subscribe. Check out the rest of my videos and we'll catch you on the flip side.